Let's go across now to an NDTV exclusive. This really is the big headline and this is all about philanthropy and a donation of 425 crores to the Indian Institute of Science in Bengaluru for a postgraduate medical school and an 800 bed hospital. So meet the philanthropists behind this. I'm very happy to be joined by all four of them. The hospital will be called the Bakchi Parthasarthi Hospital and I'm joined now by Mr. Subhuto Bakchi, um, co-founder of Mindtree, also chairman of the Risha Skill Development Authority. Also with me is Sushmita Bakchi, the chairperson of the Moore School Abhyan of the Government of Orisha. Also with me is N.S. Parthasarthi, Managing Director of Mela Ventures, also co-founder of Mindtree, and Radha Parthasarthi, who's retired from SBI. So congratulations to all four of you, and it really is wonderful to be reporting such positive news. So if I can begin with you, Mr. Bagchi, and uh, all of you actually, what led to this? I mean, it really is something which is so needed at this time, at a time when we've seen just how important science is in, and how much our focus must be on health for everyone in the world. What led uh, you, Mr. Bakchi, uh, Mrs. Bakchi, Mr. Parthasarthi, and Mrs. Parthasarthi? Well, I would like to talk on behalf of all four of us briefly, and then maybe the others can join in. I think uh, the 425 crores that the two families are gifting to Indian Institute of Science is really not the big news. The big news is that the Indian Institute of Science, which is a premier institute of eminence, is going to now veer forth into the area of medicine mm -hmm. because traditionally it's been science engineering now medicine will come under the same uh, same roof now this is very important because if you look at insulin for example or if you look at even the covid vaccine it did not come from a government lab it came from university uh, university research and if you look at that model if you look at stanford harvard yale or oxford it's not just government or corporate sector that actually leads to these kinds of innovations. It happens because private individuals come and join hands for institution building. And the great example of that is Sloan Kettering. Mm -hmm. uh, it was originally Marshall Hospital and then comes Sloan, Mr. Sloan and Mr. Kettering. They write a check and then they walk away from it. So what India requires is the capability of people to join hands, not leave it to institutions like corporations or government, but to join hands with institutes of eminence, ISCs and IITs of the world, and engage by having the confidence to write a check and mm -hmm. walk away from it. But this is not about the 425 crores. Indian Institute of Science actually requires 50 chaired professors, and each chaired professor will cost 8 crores. So more people must come forward to support the cause of bringing science, engineering, and medicine under the same roof. Absolutely. In fact, I think so many important points uh, raised there, Mr. Bakchi. And I could, if I could bring you in as well, uh, Mr. Parthasarthi and uh, uh, then the others. Uh, just that point on really the creation, I thought that word was so interesting, of physician scientists and looking at how, because we've seen so much focus on how our vaccine manufacturers have really made India and the world proud at this time. But the research behind it is what's so essentially needed and really not for profit. It's really for the public good, a global good. Mm -hmm. Do you think, Mr. Parthasati, uh, we made the point that this is one, uh, this is uh, two private families coming together, but how do we make this a model that others can follow as well? And what do you, in this term, physician scientists, why do you think they're so crucial, the next superheroes, really, at a time like this? I think, uh, thanks a lot, Sonia, for having all of us here. Um, I think, first of all, the cause is great, and I think we are very proud and privileged to be part of Indian Institute of Science. Uh, sometimes I keep thinking that Indian Institute of Science is the world's best kept secret within India. Uh, the, the kind of work that they do is just amazing. We were completely blown away being a few kilometers away from ISC in terms of looking at the nanosciences lab. So we, that's point number one. Point number two is if you look at the, the examples that Chubroto gave about the vaccine mm -hmm. or any future healthcare in terms of precision medicine, it requires the combination of basic sciences, engineering and technology, and medicine and clinical sciences coming together. And I believe that by Indian Institute of Science embarking on this journey, I think we'll ensure that in the future, India will need not be dependent on the external world in terms of taking care of healthcare for all Indians in the future as well. I think that is what we are proud of. And that I think it's a privilege for all of us to be able to associate it with an institute like Indian Institute of Science. Mrs. Bakshi, if you could come in on this aspect as well, that 
health being the main focus for India, I mean, it's always uh, often, you know, when we look at do donations, we look at uh, whether at temples, areas of education, but somehow mm -hmm. hospitals and all have lagged behind. Now the whole focus on health is something urgently needed for India, especially when we know that it can lead so many middle class families into poverty, just paying hospital bills uh, as well. Uh, was that uh, your thinking as well behind it, Mrs. Bakshi? You know, uh, the pandemic has shown us the underbelly of our healthcare system. It has uh, shown vast gaps. So these gaps cannot be left only to the government to fill or to the corporate health institutions to deal with. Um, all of us must see ourselves at, as uh, agents of change. And uh, like you asked whether healthcare was always our um, uh, forte or al always in our minds, Yes, in, uh, we used to think that uh, there were three things like mental health, blindness and geriatrics uh, um, that uh, we would uh, get involved with. But during the pandemic, we thought that research is very important. So that's how we are here. And even before the pandemic, we thought that cancer should be um, uh, in our, uh, is one of our concerns. So in Odisha, we built, a, um, a rather we got associated with a, a hospital um, called Sankara, uh, Sri Sankara Cancer Foundation. Mm -hmm. And uh, that institution is coming up uh, along with uh, Karuna Shraya's palliative care. Mm -hmm. And it's, it's really wonderful because, I mean, just reading about the project, the fact that all the, that really the, it brings together science, engineering, health, all in the same campus, all really in state of the art uh, uh, labs, uh, new frontiers in a, in a way, Mrs. Uh, Parthasati. So in that sense, it's exciting, it's new frontiers. And it's also, I mean, I know that you all have said, don't focus on the money, don't focus on the amount, but it's wonderful also to see Indians, as ordinary Indians doing extraordinary philanthropy. So Mrs. Parthasati, uh, your thoughts on that? Actually, um, I was very amazed to go to the Indian Institute of Science, meet all the professors there, see the excitement, see the energy they bring into the process, and the, and the need to do, go forward and help India. So this is very much needed for us. We were actually uh, in line with your thinking, very much a shared vision of uh, the professors in the um, IAC. And it was also our idea to help education and um, uh, the hospital. And when, and when it could be combined together and come in at one place, nothing like it. I know, and I think really this is when we talk about legacy, this is a fantastic uh, legacy to create in a sense, uh, Mr. Bakshi. Final thoughts really on that aspect. You know, when we keep reading about Indian CEOs going global and the new point, so many of them say we <laughs> left India because we just couldn't do the research we wanted here. And really it is institutes like ISC and perhaps the freedom that private funds give that can perhaps create that environment uh, here in India for people to come back maybe. Yeah, absolutely. You know, a couple of points you make, one, uh, actually three points you made. One is in the beginning, you talk about uh, middle class becoming bankrupt. And it's so true. But what about the bottom of the pyramid? You know, we need to think about not just six billion on the planet, but the next six billion, as the ISC professors keep saying, we have to actually seed research and innovation so that the planet is safe. You know, what did COVID teach us? COVID taught us that the virus does not see nations. The mm -hmm. virus does not see how much money you have. The virus mm -hmm. leads you to a ventilator. The ventilator doesn't care what's your Aadhaar card number. So here is a virus that is actually a wake up call for everybody to say that we have to put all our forces together so that we do not actually suffer the way that we suffered and particularly the poor people suffered. So uh, the other point that you make is about international collaboration uh, and attracting top-notch talent. Top-notch talent and the brain drain, particularly medical uh, and scientific brain drain has happened because they didn't have platforms like IISC. Mm -hmm. Now this again brings out the important thing that this is not the 425 crores that will make the difference. Mm -hmm. All of us need to engage like, I would again reiterate that we need 50 professors chairs in the Indian Institute of Science right. and there is an institute of medical sciences inside which this hospital will be nested. Mm -hmm. So we all Indians, all Indians capable, all people with whatever little money you have are capable. This is a great opportunity to come and join hands to secure the future right. of the next six billion people on the planet. Right, uh, Mr. Bakchi, Mrs. Bakchi, Mr. Parthasati, and Mrs. Parthasati. It's really fantastic, as I said, to speak to 
Indians doing extraordinary work. Thank you so much uh, for joining me tonight and really putting the focus on IIC and its brilliant work that's being done and will be done, we hope, with this project. Thank you so much. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you.